Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Jewelry Pirate, this is Barbara. I am back with the other part of this um, tribal, native, African, Indian um, jewelry lot. And uh, I'm hoping that I can get through this video. Um, the thunder is rolling outside, so I'm hoping that we... I can get through this before we get this storm and that um, I don't lose power or the internet in between. So we're going to start right in. Please don't forget to do a thumbs up. Um, also when you comment, please do a uh, timestamp, um, price, and uh, also a brief description of the item. And uh, I think we're good to go. All right. Um, again, I took everything off. Um, the Barlow pieces are, is, is, are very famous for scrimshaw. Um, so I have a few pieces of that. And the only thing I kept out here was the pile of the oddities that I have over, over here. And there's quite a few of them. I'm not sure if there's going to be more um, in here or not. But we'll find, we'll find out and we'll see. Okay, because there's some pretty... Um, some pretty pieces that are in here that probably went on something, okay, or could be made into something. All right, so this piece is very old. Um, it's on a cord, all right, and I am honestly not sure what this is made of. Um, it's a fish hook, okay, what would be considered, you know, in the shape of a fish hook. So, and it has the little um, uh, hook up here and uh, with a ball. And um, lengthwise, let's see. Um, it's kind of hard. The necklace itself is 17 inches. And then you've got the piece of the bone down here on the bottom. Um, let's do this for three. Okay, let's put that to, let me get some of this stuff and put it here. Oh, there's another piece that goes over there, another piece here. All right, now we have another absolutely magnificent um, choker. Um, this is beautiful. The soft is all hand stitched, okay. All the way around the softest of calf leather. Let me grab my ruler that just fell. Give you a measurement on this. Okay. The necklace part itself is 12 inches. And then you have these on the end, which is probably another one and a half inches on each side. Um, this is absolutely beautiful, um, and it has the tie, so you can tie it and make it any length that you want, um, clean, well made, heavy, um, we're going to do this, this choker here, all right, for 15, this is a very special, special piece, um, whoever gets this is going to be very, very lucky. Very lucky, very pretty. Okay, let's put that over there. Now, I have this. We have a nice bone ring. And this is all leather. It is leather. And um, it's long. We have these beautiful beads down here. Well, we got to wait because this here just snapped on me. Um, I'm going to have to put this to the side um, and maybe just sell it for the hanging piece. I mean, I'll sell everything all together, but one of these beads just popped off of the leather. These are heavy beads that are on here. So, anyway... Um, let me just put that to the side. Okay. 
they take these things and they put these delicate, beautiful pieces inside of um, these bags and then they ship them to you and they expect them to all stay perfect. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Okay, this one's beautiful. This has got bone beads and multi different colored glass stones. Here's the top. I would imagine this is probably an Indian piece. Very pretty. Little glass beads. And this is 24 inches. Very, very flexible. Will lay nice on your clothing. Let's do this beautiful piece for 10. It's getting harder and harder and harder for me to find these pieces. All right, let me see if I can get this to lay out the way it's supposed to. Well, this is pretty close. I don't want to stop. And This is another beautiful necklace. Large, large elephants on here. The shortest part of this necklace from here down to here is 24 inches. Here's your elephants. Trunks are up all carved and you have what is it here five or four one two three four different lengths coming down on this very beautiful all done in bone and brass it has weight this i've never seen one like this before um and i go through a lot of this jewelry let's do um again 15 on this one really gorgeous all right. Now remember, I go through, I go over these and go through all of them well before they go out to you to make sure everything is okay. All right. Now this is interesting. Um, let me get it together so I can give you a proper measurement. This is a choker. Now I'm a little bit over 16 inches. I want to get it to turn the right way so you can see it. There we go. Very, very, very different. Okay, you just got to turn these. All right. Nice beads. All nice bone with the bone beads up on top here. It's got the hook closure. All right. So nice. Let's do this one for 10. Okay, now I have this. And I think there's another ring in here somewhere that needs to go on here. This is very pretty. This is just all bone beads. It's very long. Um... Let's see, 12 and probably two more, 20, um, 14, 28 inches. Okay, it's got the hook. And I think there might be one more ring floating around that goes in here. So, let's do this pretty, pretty, pretty necklace for 10. These are kind of like Hishi beads, the ones that are on here, and there's tons and tons of them. Okay. Now, I have this, which is horn pipe, and I'm not sure what some of this other stuff is. This also has, um, let me see here, I'm looking to see if it's marked, I can't tell. Okay, this here, this is um, some bone and horn pipe, all right, and here's how it comes down. Um, believe it or not, this is... Um, Blue, um, like goldstone, only in blue. It's very, very pretty. All right, that runs down here. Let's check these beads. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. We have 
four beads on here, right here, 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 and here. Those are amber. I don't know if you can see that. They're glowing good amber too. They're glowing really, really well. Hard to see in the light. But they're definitely amber. See that? Look at that. Okay. So I know there's only four beads on there. But it is a very nice necklace with the uh, blue stone um, on here. Let's do ten on that. Okay. All right. Gosh, it's hot. Now, let's see what this is. This has got a, mag not a magnetic. Um, this has got a screw clasp on it. And this is a combination of shell. And i got to look at it closer to see exactly what it is. I'm just trying to get this screwed up. There we go. This is long. And it's 12, 13, 26 inches. Now, I don't know what these stones are right here. But these are beautiful. They're glass or they're some kind of stone. They're shell. There's bone. Then we have these right here. I am, again, I'm not positive. These are very unique. What is in here? Beautiful necklace. Great shell. Wonderful condition. There's your clasp. Nice and um, flexible. Let's do, uh, oh, good God. $10 on that. Whew. I can't believe how high it is. All right, now. This is just a little leather cord with a turtle. Um, let me check this. I don't see no cross hatching, so it's bone. This actually looks like a snapping turtle, but it's done very well. All right, so we're going to do this little charm here. You're going to basically getting the necklace so you can wear it. Um, we'll do it for three dollars. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, this one here is probably seen better days. I mean, you, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece here. Uh, it doesn't have any carving or anything on it, but it's it's a really nice piece of bone. Um, again, let's do the same thing. I mean, you could still wear this. It's on a hemp cord. You just have to tie it up on the top. And look at my, how dirty my hands got. Um, let's do the same thing for this. For this really, really nice, um, really super smooth. Um, you can almost use it as a worry stone. Let's do $3 for this. Even though it's a necklace with a necklace, I would just cut it off. And I would put this on just, you know, a nice plain cord. All right. It's very, very nice. And it's easy to do. So it's um, just a very pretty piece. Okay. Now, this piece. Oh, boy. This piece has got issues. All right. Oh. This needs to be worked on, but it's got some nice pieces of stuff on here. Um, glass, beautiful bone, some wood. Um, if anybody's interested in this, this is old, this piece here, very old. Um, it was all hand knotted. I mean, you literally can take take it apart and, and, and tie it yourself and you still have a pretty long necklace here um oh yeah this is like um for 30 inches um just the beads alone on this are worth the money let's say let's do this for uh three dollars okay give me a second here all right now this is something very nice. This has got some beads, some hard beads on here that I've never seen before. Oh. All right. This is the pendant. All right. And these are wood, but they're just very, very nice. Um, 
when they're carved, they come up with a special finish. This is a rather long, big, 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 let me see here. And it looks just like bone. I don't see no cross hatching. All right, the necklace itself is 17 inches. The pendant is two and three quarter inches long. All right, and this is leather that it's on. It has a finishing bead, lobster coral clasp. And uh, let's do this piece here. It's a beautiful piece for five dollars. Okay, now we have this. If you like sea beads and you like bone, there's a really gorgeous piece. Big large bone donut. And we have a combination of a bronze and gold seed beads. And then the wooden beads down at the bottom. Alright, let's see what the length of this is. Down to down to the um, donut. It's 22 inches. It's going to hang lower than 22 inches, counting the donut. And then you have, um, oh, let's see. I'd say that that's three inches with some beads on the end. Let's do this for, this is gorgeous. Let's do that for 10. Okay. Let's see what this is. All right, this is nothing, nothing, I love this pendant on here. This is beautiful. This is horn. Now we have all these hishi beads, and I think that there, these are bone. Um, here's your pendant. There's the back. That's how it's put together. Beautiful, beautiful pendant. All right. Here's your necklace. Alright, and there's your finishing edges. I've never seen finishers like this before. This is pretty. And down to the pendant. It is 19 inches. The pendant is about one and a half, one and a half inches going down. And uh, let's do this. This is beautiful. Let's do this one for seven. I love this pendant. All right. Now we have a really nice piece. Um, this has got a hook closure. Oh. And uh, I just got to get these turned. This is beautiful. Let me see if I can open this up the right way here. There we go. Okay. These are the bottom. It's those yellow beads, and we have these carved pieces here. These are fish, fish, and then this design up on top. All right, now these I don't think are, they look like it, but no, they're not. They're not amber, and they are, they're acrylic, so they're beautiful. Lots of bone, um, even though these are heavy beads, everything on here is gorgeous. Let's do this beautiful necklace here. Let's go through this again one time. Thunder's getting louder. All right, take a look at this. Let's do this for twelve dollars. All right, we're getting down the end. Let me see here. Whew! Woo, listen to that. I'm waiting for the phone to go off. Take shelter. Tornado alert. I remember that time a couple years ago. I was in the bathtub for, I don't know, a good 20 minutes, I guess, while I thought my house was being destroyed. One of the most scariest days. Talking on the phone to my girlfriend, Jane. It was, it was frightening. Frightening. Sounded like, uh, I was in a railroad yard. All right, that's 12. This is nice. 12 and 10. 
that's 22 44 inches long now this is kind of unique this has got a nice hook closure beautiful silver beads it has pieces of bone running throughout this is a long long necklace and what's different about this is that all these beads these black beads on this have a mag um a matte finish okay um these beads here are they've got like an antique copper look to them um if you look at them close this is very long it's very nice let's do this piece here for seven dollars and you've got all that nice bone on there besides okay and a nice long long necklace all right almost there now this one here um this has got a hook closure also this has a big big pendant i'm pretty sure it's it's got to be brass or something because it's not magnetic this is the pendant these are bone and i'm sure that these are bone also and it's a nice piece there you go and down to the pendant we're about 20 inches and we're counting the pendant about almost 24 all right really put together nicely um let's do this one for eight okay you should hear the noise outside i have a he she bead necklace all he she beads this is this is it doubled there's no clasp it just goes over your over your neck and there's different colors on the he she beads all through this now doubled up we are 22 so it's going to be 44 inches long altogether and you can double it you can see all the different color either glass or stone that's running through the necklace it's very very different and very very pretty all right um let's do five on that i think and it's very flexible all right let me show you you can get an idea of how much of the colored stuff is in there very pretty it's shiny so i'm going to assume i shouldn't assume anything but it looks like it could be glass now this one is very nice um put that over there here's that other piece that goes on that necklace which i will put on i'm looking for here's the clasp we have a spring ring on this now this is shell that's the inside of the shell and that's the outside of the shell the outside looks like abalone all right on all of these really pretty okay all the way down um the inside the outside very nice and then you have all these pretty pretty different shape carved i think this is the center stone here oh nope it's not but there's some different shapes on these all right so Woo. all right um you ever hear time you hear me making a noise that's because the thunder booms are big let's do this one for eight this is beautiful all right can you see all that lots of shimmer and sparkle on that all right a couple more this one i don't think i'm even going to bother showing you um i should give you let you see what it is it's a nice piece of bone with some amber colored beads but they're not they're not amber put that over there um, I have another turtle, but this one is a sea turtle, and this one is easy to adjust. Okay, we'll do the same thing on this one. This is wearable. All you do with this is you just pull this down. The cord's in great shape. Um, we'll do $3 on that. Beautiful piece of bone on that. Okay. Now... I think this is supposed to be a whistle. All right. Um, it's made out of a 
a deer antler. Alright. And it's on a leather cord. I think just for the uniqueness of this. Um, let's do five. Now we have um, this necklace. This is just a plain, this is the kind that you pull the strings. Um, there's, there's two um, where they expand, you grab the string, somebody pulled them too tight. But you grab the string and you just pull it and you can make it shorter or longer. There we go. Got to play with it. If somebody pulled them both up too tight. See, there's the, the sliding thing. And we have, um, what is this? That is beautiful. I don't think it's anything. No, but it's 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 definitely um, a bone of some sort. And this is the, it's all carved and everything. Um, let's do four dollars on this with the sliding clasp. All right, we have another turtle. And this one here is put on there with, it's got a lobster claw clasp. Um, a lot of small beads. We'll do the same thing on this, $3. All right, and then I don't know what we're going to do with that. Let's put that over here. And then the final piece, hmm, that came off of something. The final piece is very nice. Um, this is as far as the jewelry that I'm going to go through those little pieces. Um, measurement on this, uh, 22 inches. All right. It's black and white, beautifully striking. All right, black on one side, white on the other, stunning. Um, I think the beads down here are all bone. I think these are bone, and I think the black is wood. Um, let's do eight on this. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, this I got to remember to put on that necklace. A lot of these were open. When um, when I took them out of the bag, so I'm assuming that they fell off. Let me get everything I got here if I can grab, make sure I grab them out. Um, all right, let's see what we have here. All right. All right, this we have, um, I guess, kind of like a, a, a Buddha head. Um, let's do... Do this piece here. Very pretty. Um, she is or he is one and three quarter inches um, up and down and three quarters of an inch wide. Nice piece of bone. Let's do three dollars on that. Some of these we will lock together. Um, we have a bone pendant. All right. I'm sure it's probably brass. Um, this can go on pretty much anything, any of your necklaces that you have. Very nice. Let's do four on that piece. Um, these can get lotted with that. And this can get lotted with that. Hmm. All right. Now we have um, a yin-yang, and it's got a marking in the back. This also is not magnetic. Um, it's the, the yin and the yang is encircled in brass. Um, very cute. Can you see that? Let's do two dollars on that. Then we have a tiger, a scrimshaw tiger. And let me see who this is. Oh. I'm sitting here and I'm sticking to everything. This, believe it or not, this, this tiger is Avon. Okay, so very pretty carved tiger and right down here it says Avon. Um, let's do that for four. All right, now I'm gonna hook some things up together here. All right, so we have a fish. We have two elephants. All right, these are beads. You can string these on anything. This is a bead. You can string it through. Then we have a big ring here. 
Um, this would be, for me, it would be a thumb ring. Okay. This is a bead. This is probably a Mahjong tile off of one of the um, bracelets. And uh, hang on one second. There we go. All right. And then we have this elephant with the trunk up. It's got a loop in there. You could use this as a pendant. All right. And this, I'm not sure what this is. Hmm. Let me look at this. Let me put this to the side. I'm not positive if that's uh, um, ivory. All right, and then we have this. Now, this here has a hole here and a hole here, so you can actually put something going through that. Now, here's another one of those fish hooks. Um, this looks safe. All right, we have that. And then we have this here, the etern um, eternity piece. These were on, on necklaces. Okay, so most of these were all pendants except for the couple that are beads. All right, so you got one, two, three, four, five, um, five pendants, three beads, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One pendant, two pendants, three pendant, four pendant, five pendants. You got the ring. And then you got the three beads. Um, let's do this whole lot here. Um, God, there's some nice pieces here. How about uh, $9? Okay. And then I have one last piece. Like I said, this one's going to go to the side. This piece here is absolutely beautiful. And I just want to look at it. Um, this is very, very highly polished. Um, oh, it's a gorgeous pendant. Again, it's supposed to be a hook with the barbs. See all the barbs in it? And, uh, let's do, uh, seven on this. This you won't be disappointed in. This is a beautiful, beautiful pendant. I bet you it's Alaskan. Um, really, really nice. Okay, I think that is it um, on this part of this. I'm going to get this ring on that necklace when I put this stuff apart. Again, thank you all so much for coming in and spending some of your day with me. I really appreciate it more than you can imagine. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed some of this special jewelry. I've got one more lot that I have opened up of this, but I'll hold off on that for a little while. Um, I made it through. Well, we got still got a minute or two. All right, so don't forget thumbs up for me if you would. Really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to share. Um, we're getting up there with our subscribers, and I truly appreciate all the work that everybody did getting getting the channel there. Um, don't forget to do your comments with the timestamp, the brief description, and the price. And hit that notification bell, so in case you'd like to be notified when I upload a new video. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much again. Please stay safe, healthy, and above all, healthy. Love you all, and I will be back with another video before you even know it. Bye-bye.